I'm starborn. Remember, to be a star, you have to shine your own light, follow your own path, and not be afraid of the darkness, because that's when stars shine brightest. If you've been looking on our website, starborninstitute.org, you'd already know that the title of tonight's show is The Sun Shines Again. And that is because we are going to be talking about a lot of bright light because on Sunday there is a wonderful full moon at 20 degrees of Leo. And Leo's ruler is the sun. And so there's going to be some uh, sh bright light shining in your life, or at least you're going to have a pretty good reason to smile sometime in the next week. Because as we approach Valentine's Day, we're starting with that full moon that is actually in a grand trine among the fire signs. Well, fire signs like action. It rules passion, for instance. And since that full moon is in Leo, it accentuates the things that Leo rules, which are children and sports and glamour and the entertainment field. And it rules love affairs, particularly with Valentine's Day coming up. Hmm, maybe that's what will bring a smile to your face. But it also, above all, rules courage and leadership. And Leo is the ruler of the heart, the back, and the blood supply. So that full moon in Leo is beautifully trining Venus, the planet of love, which has just gone into Aries, the sign of new beginnings. And those two planets are also trining Mars in Sagittarius which rules long distance travel and foreign countries and higher education and religion and philosophy. And it also rules the whole judicial system and the courts. So we have this very favorable grand trine in the fire signs on Sunday, led by that wonderful full moon in Leo. So since Leo's like to have fun, it, and it rules, it does rule gambling and horse racing as well, you could be planning some sort of party or you may want to go to something that is celebratory in one way or another. Because if the sun is going to shine again, maybe it's because you have something to celebrate. Wouldn't that be nice? But actually, even though there can be an emphasis now on swift moving events, because fire signs like to move fast, or on passion, or on romance, or just plain fun, there can still be a few clouds on your horizon. Now that's not going to bother the grand trine, but actually if we look a little closer at what's going on, there can be a few clouds on your horizon because even though these planets are magnificently aspecting each other, by themselves they are receiving some harsh challenges and that's what can bring a few clouds to uh, your horizon as well. For instance, there is a t harsh T-cross among fixed signs. Well, Leo is a fixed sign, and so we know under a full moon that the full moon at 20 degrees of Leo is being opposed by the sun at 20 degrees of Aquarius, which rules the future. And both of these planets, are, which are the lights, are being squared by Uranus in Taurus, which is a fixed financial sign. So that means there can be some challenges or let's say even some conflict between your future plans and perhaps the cost of them. Or there can be a conflict between the future and your investments. If your investments are affected, that could affect your future plans as well. And then there is a threatening square between that Mars and Sagittarius because it's being squared by Neptune, the ruler of Pisces, so Neptune's very strong, and Mercury, the planet of the mind and of communication, is also in Pisces. And the, what's threatening about that is that uh, all planets are direct right now, and since Pisces rules things that are hidden behind the scenes, it simply means that as more revelations come out, remember Mercury rules communication, so there will be news about things going on behind the scenes, it simply means that as this news comes out about what's already occurred behind the scenes, it could undermine the, the credibility or the status of long-held 
things are, that we have taken for granted that are actually illegal. And what I mean by that is that it could be that we have sometimes sort of winked at or turned our back on uh, things that have been going on for so long that you know everybody knows they shouldn't be going on, but nobody's doing anything about them. And as more revelations come out now about activities behind the scenes, that could sure change. And that is because it could be, there could be some more revelations about bigger problems that we have not done anything about and tolerated. And that is because it could involve the drug epidemic that is going on in the country, or it could involve the homeless problem that a lot of cities are undergoing, or it could have something to do with immigration policy. Big problems that haven't been addressed that just continue to grow. As more revelations come out, that could really change. And so we have to prepare for that. And the third thing that can cause a few clouds on your horizon is that wonderful Venus in Aries, the sign of new beginnings. And remember, Venus is a love planet, is being squared forcefully by Jupiter, Saturn, and Pluto in Capricorn. Sort of three against one right now, or it will be by Sunday. And the problem is, is that when Saturn squares Venus or opposes it, that is an indication of a betrayal. And the betrayal could be coming from people who are, that are represented by Capricorn and the planets there. It could be by people that are pretty high up in management. So it could be, a betrayal could be done by, or it could be done to, a mentor or a leader. And it could be done because somebody exerts their authority, which is based on their solid accomplishments and their reverence for uh, traditions, for time-honored traditions. They could exert their authority in a way that creates a betrayal. Maybe they don't like what's been going on. So what it all boils down to right now, even though we're gonna have a wonderful full moon in Leo, and you can uh, see the sun shining somewhere in your life again, what we really have to concentrate on is the fact that there are actually four planets that are trining each other in the Earth signs. And so their power predominates right now. And that's because Uranus in Taurus is being trined by that Jupiter, Saturn, and Pluto in Capricorn. And that simply means that in between the fun that you can be anticipating soon, it's, the message really is that we all have to get back to work. And we have to earn respect the hard way through steady effort that also builds trust. That's what we really have to concentrate on. And that will be throughout the year because many of these planets will continue to trine each other throughout 2020. All right, what does this mean to all 12 of the sun signs? Well, Aries, mm, you could be in the mood for love, Aries. That's because Venus is gonna be in your sign by Sunday. Venus will be at three degrees of Aries. It's just starting to be in your sign, so it'll be in your sign for a while, uh, Aries. And that means you should get out among them and have fun, but particularly this weekend, and that would be even during the whole week leading up to Valentine's Day. Maybe you're gonna have a pretty nice Valentine's Day, Aries, because your ruler, Mars, is trining your sun now. It used to be squaring your sun sign, but now it is trining your sun. And when Venus and Mars trine each other, mm, people can get along pretty well. And also the moon in Leo on Sunday will be trining your sun sign as well. So I think that, you, that you're gonna be smiling about something or the sun can be shining again in your life in one way or another, Aries, and that will be great. The one thing you do have to be aware of though is there could be a little cloud on your horizon due to a betrayal because even though Venus is in your sign making you look good and also increasing your popularity it is going to be squared the whole time by Jupiter Saturn and Pluto in Capricorn somebody is going to really exert their authority and want you to do things their way Aries and there is no way out of it no matter how charming you are so you will have to sort of knuckle under a little bit, but that's not going to decrease your popularity. I think you're in for a great week. Okay, what does it mean to a Taurus? Well, Taurus, 
this is a time when, of course, we have to get back to basics, and that could be just fine with you, Taurus, because Jupiter, Saturn, and Pluto in Capricorn are trining Uranus in your sign. So you could have your mind on your investments, on your career, on a health program to make yourself stronger and uh, better, and all of that can be very successful this year. So I'd keep my mind on business if I were you, Taurus. But under the full moon in Leo, hmm, there's a few challenges because with Uranus in your sign, it's being uh, squared by both lights. The full moon in Leo is squaring your sun sign this weekend, and so is uh, the sun in Aquarius. So in one way or another, connected to a financial situation that could fluctuate and change, your future plans could be a little bit threatened by the status of your investments or by some change. It could also be influenced by the higher cost of things, including taxes. So if I were you, I wouldn't spend, uh, I wouldn't be uh, overly generous in spending money right now, Taurus, because uh, you need to really just concentrate on your future plans, but I wouldn't put a lot of money down on them right now. Make sure your financial base is stabilized first. Okay, what does it mean to a Gemini? Well, Gemini, this is a time when I think that you really have the lights going for you. They're in your favor, and that's because on Sunday, that full moon in Leo will be sextiling your sun, and the sun in Aquarius will be trining your sun sign. Mm, that means that there's going to be plenty of opportunity around Gemini for you to really shine, which is great. However, your ruler is in harsh aspect to your sun sign. So I don't think you can trust everybody right now, Gemini. And so you ought to keep your guard up and be a little bit cautious because Mercury and Neptune in Pisces are squaring your sun. And remember, there's going to be information coming out behind the scenes about uh, things we've taken for granted and sort of, sort of um, not looked at very closely or we have ignored that are illegal. And they can be questioned and changed because of that. So you have to, if I were you, I'd, I'd really be on your best behavior right now, Gemini, just in case someone questions your actions. And then Mars and Sagittarius is opposing your sun sign. And that means there are still people around you that wouldn't mind harming you in some way. And uh, they could do it any way they choose, Gemini. So you need to be a little bit careful about that. Not for much longer though. And that's because Mars is gonna move out of Sagittarius pretty soon. So just be really, really careful. And still, you can have a very good time. And the sun is gonna shine. You're gonna be pretty happy this week, Gemini. But you're sort of not out of the woods either. Okay, what does it mean to a Cancer? Well, Cancer, this is a time when I hope that you've been on the side of the angels because um, Mercury and Neptune in Pisces are trining your sun, which means that there can be a lot of revelations about things that have been going on behind the scenes that may indicate that long tolerated illegal activities are going to be changed once additional information comes out as long as you've been on the side of the angels, you might be happy at seeing some big problems uh, addressed and perhaps cleared up. Maybe that's good for you and good for your family, fine. But on the other hand, there are planets in cardinal signs that are challenging your sign. Venus in Aries is squaring your sun sign. So that means that a new beginning might be a little difficult to get off the ground because somebody else wants to do everything their way. So they may not be looking at you as an equal partner right now, Cancer. So you have to be a little bit careful and not let your feelings get too hurt. And then the planets in Capricorn are opposing your sun sign. They're going to do that all year long. And that simply means that you really will have to do things according to time-honored traditions and in a slow and thorough way. But if you can accept the terms on that, then that full moon in Leo right ahead of your sun sign on Sunday simply means that mm, the sun could shine in your life too, Cancer. Or what I think it means is it's going to shine on a family member. There's going to be some good news about a family member that could make you pretty happy. So congratulations. Okay, what does it mean to a Leo? Well, Leo, 
this is a time when you can certainly be seen in your full glory. And that is because on Sunday, that full moon at 20 degrees in your sign is being magnificently supported by a trine from Venus, the love planet in Aries, and Mars in Sagittarius. And so that only increases your popularity, Leo. And that's why, just like Aries, you should really get out and socialize this weekend. And everything that your sun sign represents is highlighted. So this is a good time for you to sort of take the lead or to be very social or maybe just give a party, Leo, because you'd be so popular. That's going to continue. And so I think you too are gonna have a great Valentine's Day. Congratulations. Okay, what does it mean to a Virgo? Well, Virgo, I think that there's gonna be quite a bit of light in the background of your life, Virgo, because that full moon on Sunday in Leo is right behind your sun sign and it's magnificently aspected. So you too could be concentrating on some of the things that Leo rules, such as children or love affairs, or partying, or sports, and you could be um, you could be seeing them in a full light, and other people could see how involved you are in that as well, because there'd be a lot of light in the background of your life, which is good. So that could be a lot of fun for you, uh, Virgo. But on the other hand, the emphasis is really in the Earth signs, which predominate right now. So there are four planets: three in Capricorn and Uranus in Taurus which are all trining your sun. And that simply means that despite anything else that's going on, you are going to do your best if you are simply sticking to business, not just minding your own business, but doing whatever you can to further your career. That is what you need to concentrate on. And facts and details are important to a Virgo. So stick to those. Don't fall for any blue sky, Virgo. Just stick to the facts and you'll do fine. Okay, what does it mean to a Libra? Well, Libra, this is a time when, you know, uh, no matter how much you try to please others, they're gonna be so concentrated on what they want that they may not appreciate your wonderful efforts. And the reason why is because even though the lights favor you so that the sun's gonna shine in your life, Libra, you're gonna have a good week and I think a good Valentine's Day because the full moon in Leo sextiles your sun and the sun in Aquarius trines your sun. That's great. But your own ruler, Venus, is now in Aries opposing your sign. That's what I mean by other people are going to want to do things their way and they may not even notice the wonderful things you're doing right now because they're so concentrated on you know, being first and getting what they want. And then those four planets, in Cap or three planets in Capricorn, Jupiter, Saturn, and Pluto are squaring your sun. They're gonna to continue to do that all year. And so you have got to sort of toe the line and follow the rules and do everything other people's way as well. But still, since the lights favor you, I think that your popularity will increase and that you're gonna have not only a nice week, but you're gonna have a smile on your face by the end of it, lucky you. Okay, what does it mean to a Scorpio? Well, Scorpio, this is a time when I think that you may agree with whatever is revelations come out about activities behind the scenes that can expose long tolerated illegal activities that people have been winking at or turning their back on and not really doing anything about. Well, when more information comes out about that, or perhaps the news gets worse about uh, whatever the problem is, then I think you're gonna be happy about people who want to seek a solution. You know, they, maybe it's just really time for that. And so I think you can be instrumental even in helping with that. But in the meantime, mm, there could be a few clouds on your horizon, Scorpio, because yours is a fixed sign. And the full moon in Leo squares your sun this weekend the sun in Aquarius also squares your sun and Uranus in Taurus is opposing your sun sign. This is a, not a good time at all for you to take a risk, Scorpio. In other words, you shouldn't gamble on anything. You shouldn't do anything with your money except hold on to it right now. And on top of that, 
you need to be a little bit wary of things that are beyond your control that can really affect you somewhat adversely. So I would really keep my guard up if I were you, uh, Scorpio. And if ever there was a time for you to uh, be really, really quiet and maybe just smile with a sigh of relief if nothing happens to you, that is about the best you can hope for. Because I think there's going to be some larger problems that could challenge you in this next week. So I would be very careful if I were you and don't take a risk. Okay, what does it mean to a Sagittarian? Well, Sagittarius, Mars is in your sign, but oh boy, it's being beautifully supported by that full moon in Leo and by Venus in Aries. You may be all ready to sort of start something new. It could be a love affair. It also could be just something you'd love to do, such as travel or go back to school, or you could want to participate in something where there has to be a judgment about uh, what is fair. And you could be instrumental in uh, d helping to decide a, a question or a situation about that. Your relationships can really improve right now, Sagittarius, and that's because Venus is trining Mars in your sign, which is good. And, and so you're going to find a little sense of relief from some of the challenges that you've had to face while Mars has been in your sign. Remember, it's not a loving planet. But right now, the love planet is helping it out and supporting it. So I think the sun's going to shine again in your life too, Sagittarius, even though there can be some disturbing information that is revealed about activities behind the scenes that can indicate something has got to be changed, something that has been tolerated for too long, which is illegal, is going to have to be dealt with. You may be able to help with that, though. Okay, what does it mean to a Capricorn? Well, Capricorn, you, just like Virgo, are going to do best if you just stick to business, Capricorn. And that's because there are so many wonderful planets in your sign. Jupiter, Saturn, your own ruler, and Pluto are in your sign, and they're being beautifully tried by Uranus in Taurus. So you've just got to stick to business and proceed with caution, but continue to have faith in your own plans for the future right now. The sun is in Aquarius, which rules the future. It's right ahead of your sign, Capricorn. And so even though it's under duress under the full moon in Leo this weekend, still you need to sort of look forward and decide what you want to do in your future. It's as if you can sort of regenerate if you carefully plan for a new start, and that could be very successful by fall. So I'd concentrate on that and just about nothing else right now. Because Venus and Aries is squaring your sun, there could be a betrayal somewhere in your life. But oddly enough, it might be you that is deciding that enough is enough. So, uh, and that would be because of your high values. So there'd be nothing wrong with that. Okay, what does it mean to an Aquarian? Well, Aquarius, the sun is in your sign. Okay, so that means that you could be thinking a lot about your future. You can have all kinds of rather new inventive ideas right now. You should write them down because they're probably pretty good ideas, Aquarius. But on the other hand, you just like the other fixed signs have got to be pretty careful right now. And that's because on Sunday, the new, the full moon in Leo is going to exactly oppose the sun in your sign. That's a lot of pressure to live with. So there can be some upsetting problems with children or in love affairs or with sports or with any kind of a gamble, which you should not be doing at all. You might lose if you take a gamble, so be careful about that. And then Uranus and Taurus is squaring your sun as well, which simply means since it's your own sun sign ruler, that quite suddenly there can be unexpected events or even accidents that occur that completely change your future plans. And that is why I advise you not to do too much. It doesn't mean there can't be a smile uh, or the sun shining in your life again. That is, that this grand trine in fire signs is good for everybody. But it does mean that you have to keep your guard up and that you too, just like Scorpio, cannot afford to take any risks right now, particularly not financial risks. So don't spend too much money. Okay, what does it mean to a Pisces? 
well, Pisces, this is a time when I think that there are some things that you've known all along that perhaps you haven't been willing to face in the past, but you may be willing to face them now and really think about them because, because uh, uh, Pisces, the reason why you can be uh, thinking about them now is because Neptune is in your sign. It makes you really strong and very per perceptive. But Mercury is in your sign right now, too. And that's the planet of thought. So you may be thinking a lot about maybe things that you have done in the past that you're not too proud of or some habits that you have that people tolerate, but they may not be willing to do that any longer. So if you get the idea that you need to improve your health or sort of clean up your act a little bit, Pisces, this would be a great time to do that. And I think that that simply means with Venus in Aries right ahead of your sun sign, that that's a good way to start something new by clearing up things from the past and sort of putting them on the shelf and getting yourself ready to start something new. And it could be a new beginning that involves love in one way or another. So I think that there is a, you could almost get a sort of a second chance at something right now, Pisces, and I hope you take it. All right, thanks so much for tuning in. Remember, you can see the show on our website, starborninstitute.org. Bye.